Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our first class of Power BI tutorial where we will discuss some basic concepts about BI. Before start this video, I will recommend you go and watch second video of Power BI where I have discussed download and installation process. First, I will show you the interface of Power BI and we will cover up just basic features. Let's talk about the quick view of entire window. So this is the interface guys of Power BI. There are three core views of this window. The first one is report view where we can see our report and the second one is data view where we can see our data and the third one is modeling view which means we can create some relationship between the tables. So here we have filter pane and the next one is visualization pane and another one is field pane. Once Data get uploaded into Power BI desktop. So you can see the tables here in the field panes. And this blank screen is known as canvas. And when we put this visualization into this canvas is known as tiles. You need to just follow my channel and follow this series step by step. So that you guys can better understanding of this concept. Let's first we will discuss components about Power BI. The first component of Power BI is Power Query. It helps in finding, editing, extracting and loading the data. The next component of Power BI is Power Pivot. It helps in data modeling in relationship. The third component of Power BI is Power View. It is a data visualization tool. And the fourth component of Power BI is Power Map, which is 3D view of geographical map. Now we will study seven step process of making report. The first one is extract, which means extract the data from various sources like it could be from extracted from SQL server, Excel file, CSV file, XML file, etc. And once we extracted the data, then you need to transform the data. Transformation basically means just cleaning up the data. See, the data you are getting from the program is not in a manner that you want. So you may have to clean up the data first. And once the data is being cleaned up, now it's time to load into the Power BI desktop. So this process is known as ETL process, which is extract, transform and load. Once the data get loaded into Power BI desktop, so next step is data modeling, which means creating a relationship between the tables. So this is a different concept guys and we will discuss in detail. I know guys, you might get confused with this statement, but no need to worry because initially you guys will not get understand the things properly. But I'll make sure once you watching this series in sequence, so you guys will get more clarity about these topics. After done with the modeling part, the next step is DAX, which is data analyze expression and which is very much similar to basic formula in Excel. DAX is mainly used for performing calculation like in Excel. And after done with all these steps, then we come to the main part, which is building the report, which means display raw data in the form of visualization. Now your reporting building part has been completed. So if you guys want to see the report, that how it looks, then you can watch my third video where I have created report. So before sharing this report to someone, you need to publish. And once you publish this report, then the page directly take you up to the Power BI services. And we will discuss later more about Power BI services. And the last concept of our today class is building blocks of Power BI. Here are the four building blocks of Power BI. Visualization, dataset, reports and dashboard. And the visualization dataset report always performing in Power BI desktop and dashboards are only created in Power BI services. Please keep in mind guys, dashboards are always created in Power BI services. So with the help of these building blocks, we can create better report. So in this video, we have covered interface of Power BI, components of Power BI, process of Power BI and the last thing is building block of Power BI. So in our upcoming video, we will cover more topics about Power BI and do it practically. So stay tuned with us and please support this channel and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much guys.